Hi SQL folks, welcome to another tutorial from SQL Maestros. Today we will talk about this DMV SysDM OS Memory Clerks. I repeat, SysDM OS Memory Clerks. This is the one. Now this is for people who are working with SQL Server and if your activities involves around performance tuning SQL Server, you know, troubleshooting memory usage, troubleshooting high memory consumption, etc. Then this video is good for you. Now, SysDMOS Memory Clerks will give you that one answer, where is my memory being consumed? Now, SQL Server loves memory, right? You give more to it, it will, you know, just take it very happily. It will continue to ask for more and more memory and you keep giving it to it. And, you know, Windows will keep giving it a lot of memory and it's going to use it and it's never going to return it back. You know, like a typical database system, SQL Server would want to keep everything in memory. Memory is the fastest and why not? Because accessing the disk back and forth may make things slower. So let, you know, try to keep everything into memory. And what you also need to know that in SQL Server, most of this memory management is pretty automatic. Now what happens is if your SQL Server box, let's say has hundreds of gigabytes of memory and you see a very high consumption, you will probably want to figure out the distribution of that memory. Where is all that physical RAM being used? Now, uh, a very simplified answer to that is in SQL Server, inside SQL Server, there are components that ask for memory. For example, one of the biggest component is the buffer pool. Then you have the plan cache. Then you have the, you know, the locking engine, then you have the query execution engine, um, so many different components, big and small that eat up memory. And when you put all of that together, you see that huge memory number, you know, the consumption. So when you want to find out the breakup as to give me which component is using how much memory, this DMV is very useful. Now you might be wondering and you want to know what this clerk really means. So if you're watching this video on our YouTube channel, search on memory, just search on the keyword memory. There will be a long session on memory architecture. Try to uh, get access to that where I have explained what memory components, clerks, uh, memory objects, memory nodes, you know, all of these things mean because that's a long discussion. If you're watching this on sqlmaestros.com free video lobby, again, search on the keyword memory and you will get access to a couple of videos. Uh, this video, this is for a, uh, a completely one hour session. So you should watch that. Okay, so let's get down to the demo and I'm going to sh show you a real world stuff right now. Uh, uh, and we will simulate uh, SQL Server with high memory consumption and then we'll try to figure out what went wrong. Where was all this memory being consumed? And a couple of things are funny here, so you will enjoy this. Now, if you look at the overall memory consumption of SQL Server, this DMV is useful, SysDM OS process memory. We do some mathematics here and just try to figure out that currently SQL Server is just using about 500 megabytes. So that's I've just restarted the VM. So this is a very quick signed SQL Server, no workload running, 500 uh, megabytes, half a GB usage. Now, I want to find out the breakup of this 500 MB. I don't know, I know the number is very, very small, but we want to find out that breakup. Okay, before we find out the breakup, let's stress SQL Server with more memory consumption. Let's do that. So what I'm going to do is jump over to a query here, and I am going to run this this one now. While I run this query here, you will watch that the consumptions, memory consumption will go higher. Let's do that. Let's go and execute this, jump over here and try to find out the consumption once more. So earlier it was 500 MB. Let's go and execute this. Now this is close to a GB. So it's, it's more than a GB now which means that additional 500 MB was probably used by this query execution or probably the pages it read from disk into memory. Now you see a lot of different things come into play here. Now this is just an additional 500 MB, not a big deal. Let's make this query a little more expensive, right? So let's just go and take this one and put it up here and let's just try to make this slightly more expensive so that it consumes, oops, so that it consumes more memory. Okay, what did I do? Okay, there you go. And we'll take this one. 
okay and c dot number okay so just a little more expensive cross joint with multi-level sort let's do this and execute now while this is executing and it might take some time let's go and observe memory let's go and execute this now you will see 1185 okay just keep an eye on that number 1.5 gb memory consumption is constantly increasing 1.7 gb okay probably it will will it stay at 1.7 gb all good okay now this is about 1800 megabytes and i want to figure out what's going on in the system so memory clerks will give me that answer we run this query and then we say order by pages kb okay so uh, descending which is pages kb here is the attribute that represents the memory consumption of the component descending which means the highest comes on the top let's do that we'll go and execute this and what you will see here is memory clerk sql qe reservations come right on the top with close to 1.2 gb of memory so if you look this is in kilobytes so that's 1.263 mb approximately which is about 1.2 gb if you were sitting next to me here you will see the cpu fans burning because this query is turning out to be very expensive okay you've got the answer that qe reservations clerk comes right on the top clerk clerk is like every component inside SQL Server has its own memory clerk. What is this SQL QE reservations? There's another video for that. So search in the channel or on SQLMageClose.com. But here, let's just quickly answer who is eating up all the memory. Buffer pool, in fact, comes just below it because right now we have not run too many select statements to fetch a lot of data pages into memory. So SQL QE reservations is right on the top. Now what you are going to observe is something funny interesting rather when i stop this query this is still running so you can see that memory consumption being hold up there if i stop this query will it stop it stops let's go back here now and watch we have stopped the execution now there are there can be two things that will happen which is this clerk is going to keep this memory to itself or it's going to release it back to the engine right or to the nodes in other words so let's go and check that out watch sql qe reservations you know why watch let's just go and take this in a new window so that it just becomes a lot more simpler let's go and execute this and what you will see that sql qe reservation just vanishes up from there that's the behavior of the clerk so sys dm os memory clerks gives you that answer which component inside sql server is eating up all my memory for the buffer pool which is the largest memory consumer it has its own clerk and all these big components inside the engine have their own exclusive dedicated clerks now i'm sure what you're thinking about what is this qe reservations clerk basically uh, in simple words when we send this query to the optimizer the optimizer knows that this is going to be an expensive sort operation a multi-level sort that we are doing so the optimizer wants to reserve the required memory upfront because this memory uh, the optimizer needs to do that in memory sort and it knows depending on the data and the stats that this in memory sort will need a lot of memory and it wants to reserve that memory upfront when the optimizer the execution engine wants to reserve the memory upfront for these expensive in memory operations the sql qe uh, reservations clerk will come into the picture and this is what happens it was reserving that memory upfront but the moment you stop the execution all the execution completes the clerk is going to release the memory back to the nodes this is what happens so you stop the query or it would have executed this memory is released back and now earlier you could see qe reservations was taking up this much now you go and execute this memory is released and now you here you can see all of these clerks and there's so many different clerks and you can see cache stores as well watch that video where i explain the memory architecture in detail it's it's fun and it's a lot of internals which you will love in case you are someone who wants to dive deeper into sql server okay friends so a quick recap of this content which is SQL uh, or oh, what's the DMV? Sys DM OS memory clerks. Remember this DMV, very, very useful, right? 
what answer does it give you it tells you where is the memory being consumed which component is using how much memory that's the answer you will get from system os memory clerks all right friends hope you've enjoyed this video hope you enjoyed this content do comment like share with your friends and whatnot and visit sqlmaestros.com we have the performance tuning masterclass coming up SQL Server Internals, Troubleshooting and Performance Tuning, 40 hours of deep dive content. This is for people who are serious about SQL Server Performance Tuning. A lot of real world content. You get live access to attend the class, you get the recordings, and you also get the recordings of previous batches, which means a lot of content for lifetime. Watch anytime, anywhere, as many times as you want. And sqlmaestros.com has a lot of recordings, uh, all-in-one bundle, video courses, premium membership, explore all of that stuff. Friends, if you want this masterclass to be delivered for your company, for your team members, like a private group of people, drop an email to contact at sqlmaestros.com. I repeat, contact at sqlmaestros.com. And someone from the team will revert to you. All right, friends, see you soon till another video and uh, you will continue to enjoy the free content that we keep bringing each week. Happy SQL.